Good morning. Ah, I have a a message this morning about throwing pearls to pigs. <laughs> um, if you are in a job or a relationship that doesn't resonate with you anymore, that doesn't feel right, that you kind of cringe to go face, if it doesn't warm your heart up, <laughs> if it doesn't make you feel the warm fuzzies, uh, it's time to stop settling. It's time to love yourself. It's time to love yourself and make those hard decisions. It's never going to be like choosing yourself and loving yourself is never going to be an easy decision that's like, oh, yes, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> you know, it's never going to be like that. It's going to be an ultimate test. Do you truly love yourself? Do you truly believe in yourself? Do you truly want to follow what's calling your heart? Um, you know, I talk to people on a regular, everyday basis who are right on that verge. Should I stay or should I go? Um, and I will tell you that in your heart of hearts, you know that when you're in the wrong relationship, you guys, either of you or maybe both of you got into it for the wrong reason. Maybe it was financial stability. Maybe it was to boost something. Maybe it was to what, whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that was, you know what that is. And in your heart of hearts, you know that that person is only in it for that thing. And they may say that they love you. They may be pulling all kinds of stops, like do not go out that door. They can sense and they can feel that you're about to begin the most incredible chapter of your life. And they could be jealous, like, who are you to do that? I'm not doing that. So, you, no, hell no, you're going to stay with me. You're going to stay stuck in hell with me. <laughs> and they know, I mean, a lot of times they even have convinced themselves um, you know, that they're in it for the right reasons too. And they're, and maybe they'll beg and plead to be different, you know, uh, but it's not about that. It's like, if you're not naturally, if you're not naturally what I resonate with, then I'm choosing me. I'm choosing me. And the universe um, most likely at this point in time has given you or not, not, not everyone, but I guess they will give you if you haven't felt it yet. Someone who inspires you, someone who pulls your heart, someone who makes you want to be a better person, somebody who is calling you into a better life and somehow you know deep inside that it's going to be the most incredible life you could have. And then those doubts come in like, hmm, am I sure though? Am I, or am I just falling for another situation that's going to end up karmic again? I may as well stay with this person because they have this and this and this to offer. It's like, it becomes like this bargaining thing, you know, it's like weighing out the pros and cons all logically <clears throat> trying to figure out which one, you know, what, what check marks are. And it's like, ah, take the check marks out, take the logic out, follow your heart because your heart knows your intuition knows you could even be communicating with this person telepathically. You could even feel them sending you messages um, or you could be sending them messages. And a lot of you who are at jobs that you don't like, you guys already know what's pulling to you. You know, I just give you the courage to embrace it. You know, uh, when you come to me, I'm like, there's something calling you, isn't there? Uh, that's, I ask that like right off the bat, if someone's like, I'm not happy where I'm at whether it's a relationship or job or whatever. I'm like, something's pulling you, isn't it? Because that's how life works. <laughs> the universe gives you a carrot to get you out of a situation that's not genuine. You know, a lot of these karmic partners um, that the masculines are leaving or that you might be leaving, um, they're master manipulators and liars. So you got to keep that in mind and they probably have an inkling or maybe they even know 
that a new life is pulling for you, like I said, and they are just like really pulling out all the stops to keep whatever benefits they had with you, whether it was sex or whatever, it doesn't even matter what the benefits were, but that's what they're after. It's not love. You have to love yourself in order to be able to love, you know, and some people are like, well, the kids or, you know, something like that. And when it comes to the kids, it's like, what kind of example do you want to give the kids? What kind of love do you want them to see? Do you want them to learn that you are to grow up and be in a relationship where you walk around on eggshells and fight a lot and, um, and then have this big elephant in the room and one person deceives the other person? You know, a, a person who is, who is in it for the wrong reasons is, is deceiving a good-hearted, beautiful, loving soul. You know, do you, do you want them to learn to grow up to be like that? Or do you want them to see something genuine? Or do you want to see some, you know, do you want them to see you with your, with your true love? With you guys just being like little kids together and being healthy and happy and in it for the right reasons? And just because you love each other, just because you want to be around each other all the time, um, you know, where you can work things out as a team in a mature way, in a harmonious way, something healthy and strong that they can aspire to when they're grown up. You know, um, I, I mean, I've, I read somewhere that it's, it's at the age of five. At, up until the age of five, a child needs a lot of love and hugs and attention, and it can't, so it can't soothe itself. After five, they're learning how to self-soothe. And if someone's leaving someone, I tell them, don't necessarily do it for your person, the person that you're in love with. Do it for you because you know you deserve better and you want more authenticity in your life and what's really true for you and your child. So take that child out of them, that environment or remove the person from your environment and make it an incredible time for the child. Show the child that change can be exciting and fun and adventurous. And, oh, my gosh, this is so exciting. This person's now exiting your life or it's going to transform into a situation where uh, you, now you have two bedrooms and now you can decorate two bedrooms. Make one your castle and the other can be your, you know, whatever it is. And just make it, make it really fun for the kid. And they will not go through all that. Things don't have to be all traumatic and dramatic. They really don't. Um, if there's a lot, of, a, a lot of drama around something, somebody's trying to control somebody. So, um, I mean, it's a, it's a way of, um, men, uh, it's like mental and emotional manipulation. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, you guys. If you're not sleeping well, you're not going to think clearly. Make sure you're meditating, taking time to quiet your mind. It'll help you make good, solid decisions. Place your hand on your heart and say, I love you. I love you. Like a hundred times until you feel totally blissed out and high. Do it that, do it until you feel high. And show yourself, I love you so much. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to leave a false situation. If you think that person is trying to change because they love you, you know that's not true. You know that's not true. They just don't want to lose everything they got with you. Um, they are thinking limited. They're, they're not thinking, oh, I'm going to just, you know, I have enough faith to go live a better life with someone else that I might actually love. They're, they're thinking limited. They're thinking, if I don't have this, I'll never have that again. It's like, hmm. You know, some of these karmics need to realize that this is a growth spurt they need to go through in order to feel liberated and free and step into their own power and find their own true love. Don't cling on to somebody who doesn't, who doesn't want to be with you anymore. It'll never work out, ever. That person is never going to, they're just going to, more and more they're going to realize and see the ultimate truth. Pray to see the truth in all things. Pray to see the truth in all things. 
Thank you so much for showing me the truth in all things and everybody involved in this situation. Also, life is too short to be spending time in miserable situations. Your vibration should be coveted. Your vibration and how you feel should be absolutely honored. So you should surround yourself with people in situations that make you feel wonderful about yourself. Not being around people who make you doubt, who make you doubt what you truly feel passionate about, what makes you very excited, what makes, you, what makes your heart soar. They're not, you know, you need supportive, good, kind, loving, like-minded people in your life. And this is a time of letting anything else go. Anything else. It's, a, it, it's like, if you're not for me, you're against me. This is my ultimate truth. This is what I truly want in my life. And if you don't back me up on it, you're not to be in it. <laughs> Period. You know, because I know what's going to bring about my ultimate happiness. I know it in my core. I know it in my intuition. I know it with every fiber in my body. So either, either you're going to back me up or you're just not going to be in my life. Or there'll be really heavy boundaries placed on you. <laughs> I'm going to have minimum exposure to you. Um, anyway, stand strong in your decisions, you guys. You guys already know the right decision. I, I mean, I talk to you guys every day, and you guys always know. You always know you're with the wrong person when you are, and you always know the person that you love that you really do want to go start a new beautiful thing with, and you always know the wrong job. So the thing that keeps you there is thinking you can't get better or, to, or, not, or not having – it's like you're being manipulated by whatever limiting beliefs you're choosing to believe, like thinking you can't get a better job, thinking you can't have a better relationship or thinking that you can't, like you can't, um, like if you're the masculine who's stuck with the karmic is trying to convince them of things, you're feeling guilty because you don't have to have an excuse to leave, by the way. You can just be like, you know what? This isn't right for me anymore. And literally... Push that body out the door. Click. I'll get you your things later. They'll be on the curb later. You're not responsible for that person or their happiness. They can go create their own happiness elsewhere. I don't care if they're, I mean, so many of them will even like, but I'll commit suicide without you. I won't make it without you. I don't have a place to go. I don't have, like, you know how many times I've been in that spot in my life? A lot. A lot where I had to just where I was thrown out actually in the middle of winter with absolutely nothing and and couldn't find a place to live or where to go it's tough but I'll tell you it makes you strong it makes you grow and you can't be like wanting to make everybody else's life comfortable that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense people need tough love they need to go through that stuff to grow up, to mature, to learn to have compassion for other people. They, need, they have those life lessons. Sometimes it's karma. Sometimes they've been, you know, they've just thrown somebody out and didn't even give a crap about well, that person at all. You know, I'm not saying don't give a crap. I'm saying be kind, but be very strong. Be very confident in your decision and do what is best for you. Do what is best for you lining up with your ultimate authenticity and what you truly know makes, makes you, makes your heart sing. You want to live a life, you, you, you want to be with someone you look forward to coming home to or spending time with or working things out with. You know, you, you want to be at a job where you're appreciated and respected and even looked up to. You know, you want to have friends who 
when you go kind of back and forth, they kind of go back and forth. I see your point here and I see your point there. I get it. And here's how I, how I think you could best support yourself right now in figuring that out for yourself. Or, you know, here's what I sense and feel about it from a totally unbiased situation or standpoint on that situation. So, um, yeah, and if you guys need help sorting that out, obviously I'm here for you too. I do remote readings all over the world. So, if you need the courage, if you need the strength, if you need to, um, to even, sometimes it helps to know, like, what you're going into, what kind of relationship is calling to you. Um, if you've been working on yourself, developing, awakening, all of that, then you are aligning with your person, <laughs> you know, guaranteed. If you've been practicing the law of attraction, if you've been, if you're high vibe in it, you're going to be matching up with somebody who's high vibe. You're not going to tolerate that kind of stuff anymore. You're not going to go back to those uh, that icky energy. So, um, yeah, I can help you if, if you need. Um, let me uh, hang on a second. I just want to, I'm going to do a blessing for you guys to help you guys be strong and to help you guys see the truth because it's really important that you be clear. You don't, it's like, it's such an emotional situation to leave something like that, that you've been with for a while. Um, yeah, but just also it's like when you imagine like making the decision that you want to make and does it bring you relief? That's how you know you've made a good decision. So, okay. Spirit just said, just go. Just go. Just leave it. Um, yeah. I'm getting like, talk to the hand. Or I've said my piece. You're not listening to me. Get out. I had this, it makes me think of like, okay. There's, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, I started seeing the most gorgeous guy ever. Oh my gosh. He was so gorgeous. And he would come over to my place. And this was in Kent, Washington. And he would come over and he was, oh my gosh. There was just so much about that. That was just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> not to get into details, but oh my Lord. And uh, I don't even remember the guy's name now. Anyway, um, he was like everything I'd ever wanted. You know, he was broke, but <laughs> everything else. <laughs> you never want to have to like pull someone else's weight, you know, but, um, but, I, but it was worth it. I mean, he, he had a great sense of humor. He was just, he was, he was just awesome, right? Um, but I had this sweet cat. She was like my little best friend. Her name was Tika. Tika and I, like, we had our own little language. I could actually talk cat. I was like, meow, and she would know. And it was just the sweetest thing in the world. We had the best little relationship. And, um, when he would come in the door, she'd hide. And I was like, what is she seeing that I don't see, you know? And she would, um, she would just act funny around him. And one day he lost his shit because he didn't listen to his alarm. He didn't wake up. And I tried to wake him up and his alarm had been going off. I was like, wake up, wake up. And he didn't wake up. He was like, no, 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 no. And I got plenty of time, blah, blah. So he wakes up eventually <laughs> and he just goes into this tirade about why didn't you wake me up and starts yelling and screaming at me. And Tika ran and ran for cover. She ran underneath the couch. And I just, at that moment, oh my gosh, <laughs> I just stood up and I said, get out. And he was like, what, what, what do you mean? And I said, you're not going to treat me that way. And you are scaring my cat. Get the hell out. And he was just shocked. He could not believe. And I literally grabbed all of his stuff and started throwing it out the door. And I said, do not come back. And he was like, but, but you, blah, blah, blah. It started going on all of the excuses, all of the, I'm sorry. And, I'm, oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and, and I said, 
one more word. And if you're here one minute longer, I'm either going to call the cops or one of my big burly guy friends and you, I will remove you. And I literally put the, the guy was much bigger than me, taller, bigger, stronger. And I pushed with all my might to get that guy out the door. And I bolted that bolt. <laughs> I felt like good riddance. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good riddance. And, and I was, and I felt liberated, you know, it felt so great. And, and I was like, I can find someone like that again. Why not? I can find someone like that again. And, you know, and it felt great. And he, and he never came back. He never did come back. So I was like, all right, well, you know, once that, once that line is drawn and it's drawn sternly enough, they get the hint. And then they go mooch off of somebody else, you know, or they go on to the next person that they can victimize or the next person that they can take advantage of. And believe you me, they will. You know, those types of people, those karmics, they'll go on to the next one that will make them feel comfortable again. So, um, and it really is about comfort or winning or whatever it is, you know. Also pray for protection, which I'm about to give you. If you listen to this light language blessing, it's going to give you protection. It's going to help you know the truth. And it's going to help you be strong and confident in your decision like I was. Be a badass. Okay. So, um, what was I going to say about that? Though? There was something else, wasn't there? I don't know. It'll come up in the light language blessing if there's something else to be said about that. Okay. Hang on. Just relax your shoulders. Ah. <sighs> I feel like some of you are like rocky right now, like getting ready, all warmed up for a workout. Like, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Get me ready. Okay. Hi, my kids. I like Lucky Napo Omakai. A la shiki po mama kiss. A lucky ina say sale mokai. A la pompon san say a lucky ina say. Ha shiki pompa ina. A lucky in san sailor. A lepo mama kinsa. A shikin salaki in a pokai. A la him mokai champagne. They basically just said. You choose to love yourself, and I've got your back. Wow. Wow. I saw your children protected. I saw you protected. I saw the person you love protected. Everybody got protected and smoothed out. I felt like there was a reprimand to the karmic, and like you go to your new life that is calling to you as well, that you know is calling to you. Go find either your next project or your true love if you work on yourself, if you go grow. Um, and then I saw you getting some sleep. <laughs> you getting some much needed sleep. Hang on a second. There's something coming through about after you do all this. You're going to feel so liberated. You're going to feel so liberated when you really do this. Oh, Lord, it's, you're going to feel like me the next day. Did I have to go lick my wounds and really reflect on that whole situation? Hell no. I mean, you can, and you will, and you need to process whatever comes up. Like, don't judge yourself. Take proper time and whatever to, to take a look at what just happened. Don't take any of it to heart. Whatever they said you needed to change or you weren't good enough or you weren't this and that and the other thing or what they, whatever they say going out the door, do not listen to that. You listen to your heart of hearts. You know who you are. Don't let some kind of liar tell you who you are. <laughs> do not listen to somebody like that. Uh, do not let them make you insecure. Do not let, let them make you feel like doubtful about a thing. Do not listen to anything that they're saying as you're scooting them out the door. Um, anyway, so they're saying about like the recovery process, like just deliberate it and go get what you want. Go get it. 
go get that job, go get that career, go make that thing happen, go after that love that pulls at your heart and, and that you think about 24 <laughs> seven, go get it, go get it. You're going to just going to be so excited and, and, uh, and liberated that you're just going to want to go run into your new life. And it's about time, right? Ah, uh, I feel so proud of so many of you. I feel like so many of you are actually going to take this and run with it. So yay. Yay. Good for you. Again, I'm here to support you if or when you need. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.